This week's top 10 is based on System 3 games. System 3 is a British independent video game developer and publisher founded in 1982 by Mark Keel. So to kick us off in 10th, we're gonna have a little look at Vendetta. Vendetta is a 1990 isometric beat'em up game released by System 3. The plot is a group of terrorists have kidnapped a professor and his daughter. The professor is working on a bomb. The protagonist, initially armed with only a knife, decides to rescue both individuals. Along the way, he collects other weapons and evidence to convince other police officers to let him continue his work as he heads into an army base, a booby-trapped airplane and finally Central Park where the terrorists make their last stand. At 9 we've got Turbo Charge, which is a racing game released on the Commodore 64 by System 3 in 1991. So with this game as well, you've also got a shooting element. But overall this game really, to me, feels a little bit like Power Drift. The graphics are really nice for a Commodore 64 racing game. And of course, there's an impressive soundtrack while you race. This was the game that Chase HQ should have been, and I think you'll enjoy this game. Tusker is an adventure game released on the Commodore 64 by System 3 in 1989. The graphics of this one are superb, they're really varied, colourful and extremely atmospheric. The music is by Matt Greer and of course he doesn't let us down. This game has 60 screens spread over 33 loads with a great system of tricks and traps becoming ever harder with rewards for progression. Now at 7 we have The Last Ninja 3. The Last Ninja 3 is an arcade adventure video game that was developed and published by System 3 for the Commodore 64 in 1991. As you come to expect, the graphics are beautiful. System 3's unique isometric 3D view is taken a step further, beautifully detailed and evocative. The only slight flaw is that there isn't any dramatic variety apart from level 5. 3 really is a superb game, but for me personally, it's just missing a little something that the first two instalments had. Flimbo's Quest is a 2D platform game published by System 3 for the Commodore 64 in 1990. The player controls Flimbo through seven distinct levels, collecting scrolls for the wizard Daz Bazian to allow him to create a spell that will send Flimbo to the next level. Some exploration is required to find all the scrolls and of course there's the usual enemies dotting around all trying to kill you, as well as other secrets such as banks and various power-ups. Myth History in the Making is a 2D platform game developed and published by System 3 for the Commodore 64 in 1989. The player controls a teenage boy from the 20th century who one day falls through a tear in the space-time continuum, of course, and is then transported to the time of legends. Armed with an enchanted sword, he must take on Demirian and the legions of demons and monsters under his command, eventually succeeding in the mission and being returned back to his own time. Geron Tell gets in on the action as well, with some of the finest music composed on the Commodore 64. International Karate is a fighting game developed and published by System 3 for the Commodore 64 in 1986. In the United States it was published by Epix as World Karate Championship. It was the first European developed game to become a major hit in the United States where it sold over 1.5 million copies. In single player mode, successive opponents increase in difficulty from novice white belts to master black belts. Quoted by Archie McLean and the composer Rob Hubbard, you already know this is a must-play game for your Commodore 64. And now we get to the business end, the top three. The Last Ninja is an isometric action-adventure game originally developed and published by System 3 in 1987 for the Commodore 64. With its mix of its stunning graphics and its amazing soundtrack, back then this one absolutely blew me away. The Last Ninja contains a blend of exploration, puzzle solving and combat. The object of the game is to guide the ninja protagonist Amakuni on his journey to the palace of the evil shogun Kunotoki to assassinate him, avenging his clan and retrieve the sacred scrolls. 
pushed into second place by the smallest of margins possible is Last Ninja 2 Back with a Vengeance. It's an action adventure video game developed and published by System 3 for the Commodore 64 in 1988. The music has to go down as possibly one of the best ever on the Commodore 64 and was created by the legend none other than Matt Gray. The Last Ninja must have been a real tough act to follow, however, the fiendish puzzles of the original game are still here, only this time they're cunningly incorporated into the New York scenery. This makes this game absolutely a must play. And finally we make it to number one, which is of course IK Plus. The best System 3 game out there, and probably the best fighting game out there for the Commodore 64. It was released in 1987 and was written by the legend Archie McLean, with the music composed by none other than Rob Hubbard. Of course, the major innovation here in the follow-up to International Karate was the addition of a third opponent controlled by either the computer or a second player. IK Plus must stand as the best beat'em up game ever made on the Commodore 64. It's almost too good to be true with the animated fighters, the great sound effects and the superb two player mode. I hope you've enjoyed this look back at the top 10 Commodore 64 games made by System 3. And of course, if 8 and 16 bit microcomputers are your thing, then please consider subscribing and liking this video to see future content. And until next time, goodbye.